Guten Tag, and welcome to another quality content module freshly ground by Small Beans, where ideas are always percolating. If you enjoy this pod, please consider joining our community over at patreon.com slash smallbeans, where only three bucks a month gets you access to double the content, including Patreon-exclusive series like Spielboys and Star Trek The Next Futurama, plus bonus episodes of your SB favorites. Much love, and enjoy the thing. everybody and welcome to rough stuff the podcast where we tell uh or talk about embarrassing things i'm one of your co-hosts bridget greenberg and um i was once walking my dog and accidentally locked myself out of our house and uh peed my pants you peed your pants yeah did you not think to just like pee outside because i have peed outside it was that you know, kind of, a, 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 yes, it kind of just happened. You just, it kind of just happened. I thought I, How I, old were you? I thought I was in control of it and it turns mm. out I wasn't. I was probably like 13 or 14. Okay. So like definitely too old. And like, it was too exposed mm. at the time. I, you know, I was walking my dog. It was like a big neighborhood. I was like in a, in a public uh, area. Sure. Um, sure. Because- and I, and I thought I had control of it. I thought the dog was just going to like go out, pee. I was going to run back in and do the same right. thing. Um, and he took a little longer than expected. Mm. Um, the late LeBron James Greenberg. And uh, and I didn't make it. Yeah, because I actually, um, I used to be, I was horrible with keys. I like. I was, so, I'm so bad to I this day. I'm bad with keys. I was forced to become good with keys when I went to college. Yeah. But I really had a hard time. It was I, like a USB. Like, I didn't know which direction to put no, it in. I, I fully could not understand the I, I have that thing. I once broke a key in a door. Oh, one of my fears. Yeah. yeah fully broke fears. the key in the door. Um, who are you? Uh, sorry, I'm Sarah Griffith. <laughs> um, my, well, I was going to say, because one time I was, uh, there was a park in my neighborhood, very quaint, public park, just mm-hmm. really lucked out. Um, and me and my friend were playing there and then I had to go to the bathroom. So we went to my house and like, I couldn't figure out the key and it was one of my guy friends. And I was like, okay, you stay here. I'm going to pee. Like I, I, I was in my backyard. I guess like the gate was open, but the door wasn't open to get into my house. Okay. So I had like a little side of the house area where like, you know, the random those door- shit yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's where it happened to me. The, those doors get stuck. It had this big old door handle yeah. from like the and it was 17th the, century. It was the um, deadbolt and then the lock mm-hmm. inside the door, which also is lo- like at that time the bane of my existence. Yeah, yeah. Th- th- we had very sticky locks in this house. Yeah, so I, I just was like, okay, you just stay where you are. I am peeing over right. on the other side of the house and I did that. Um. My embarrassing thing that I was going to lead off on, God, it's embarrassing, but it's kind of more like shame and guilt than anything. Else. Yeah, you get it off your it's chest. It's more part. of a funny story, I guess. So, um, a few weeks ago, I accidentally stole money from go-go dancers at a gay bar in West Hollywood. You monster! I know. I was. You're a monster. I was not an ally that night. Let no. Me tell you. Um, I was there to see um one of my friends do a drag show. For her sake, I'm not going to reveal who it was. <laughs> yeah, that's for the Because I don't want to make her... Um, yeah, I a pariah of West exactly. Hollywood. Exactly. Um, we have too many of those. So when she was performing, she was like, can you get my tips? You know, I mean, she was making a fucking rain. She's getting all this money. And I gathered up this money and she let me go backstage and she was getting out of drag and I had this money and... I'm talking and some of the go-go dancers, like 9, 10 p.m. Like they're just now arriving. They're just now getting right. started. Because like now the party's actually picking up. Mm-hmm. And um, we were getting ready to leave. And my friend had mentioned like, oh, well, with the tip money, like let's get dinner. Like let's buy a little whatever. It's like, okay, yeah, sure. And I saw a pile of cash next to my person bag. And I was like, oh, let me get that real quick. Because now like the go-go dancers are here and people are coming in and out. Like, yeah. you know, I had heard like, you know, sometimes tips go missing. You, like, sure, yeah. You know, so actually, in like an effort to like not have money stolen, I was like, oh, let me get this real quick before more people get in here. 
we go to dinner. We just get like appetite, nothing crazy. And she's like, okay, so you got the tip money. Like, why don't we just pay with that? And I pull it out. I'm counting it. I'm like, this is only like $32. Like you definitely, like I saw you had like 20s and 10s and 5s. Like this is mostly singles. I forgot. I had her tip money and I put it in her suitcase. And then I was like, wait, then what the fuck is this money that I've taken? It was next to my stuff. And she was like, oh, that was probably like the go-go dancers. Like, you know, when you get a tip jar and you put a little bit of cash in the tip jar yeah, initially to, to encourage. Yeah, to start. Yeah. So like, this is the money that they were going to tuck into their thugs to encourage people to wow. like tip the girls, right? And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, okay, well, when I drop you off, like I'm going to go back and I'm going to give this money back. And she was like, girl, it's $32 in singles. Like they've already made like four times that amount. Like they're not even going to- You better it. hope. I mean, they didn't have their starter money, so who knows? I guess who knows not. how much that plays so, into it. Um, there's going to be some random yeah. West Hollywood gay bar go go dancer that's going to be like, "Wow, this woman gave me a very specific tip." If and you, it's, I'm going to pay it. Yeah, forward. if you hear a knock <laughs> on the door during this podcast, it's people coming out. It's go 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 dancers from West plan? Hollywood. I don't know if yeah. you can hear the plane. The overhead, choppers have been circling for days. Sarah's like, been. We know up. there's a homophobe in this apartment. <laughs> Come out with your hands up with the thirty two dollars you stole. Yeah. You've been holding a young gay man how dare you how dare you yeah you've been holed up in this apartment for weeks now exactly. hiding no from i will i will the I'll, west hollywood mafia i will pay it for uh, i would i will bless some random go-go dancer in the future with a very specific a amount of, of, cash. Of, of money uh, yeah you gotta go to the bar early and like just put starter money just like L honey let me just you don't even have to dance i'm just gonna give this to you in your hand i'm gonna look yeah, you yeah, in the put eye it, yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, brother. So, you, uh, that's, so that's been my latest embarrassing faux pas. I left WeHo in an Uber in, in total shame. With, with stolen, with a wad of cash of stolen $32. $32 in singles. I mean, wow. Yeah. I think there was a couple fives in the mix. I don't think it was all singles. Yeah, but, you had a um, lot of singles. Um, you know what? That party was jumping. I'm sure they made a lot of money that night. You better hope. I'm sure, I'm sure they don't miss the $32. You lay awake at night thinking, uh, hoping that they made a lot of money that night. Sorry. Sorry, girls. I'm not even going to name the bar. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's only beginning. Um, as, yes. as per the new um, Rough Stuff format. 2.0. Rough Stuff 2.0, which I wish I could think of a portmanteau for. Uh, it's it is hard. Uh, uh, I'm normally God. quick with those, and no, I, I can't. I, I can't. It. I don't have it. Um, we have picked a topic um, that we're just uh, you and me, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna riff on, and I and I know I know you have stuff. You're waiting for me to finish drinking this huge amount of water. Yeah, I, I wanted. Yeah, you took a big gulp of water, and I. I'm want gonna to, call this. I I want to see if we could do this at the same time. I I think it's gonna turn out terribly. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. Okay, ready. On. Bathroom, bathroom etiquette. etiquette. Okay. I want to say bathroom stuff. I kind of wanted to create a, a thematic. Stuff. The only reason why I say etiquette, Well, bathroom stuff could be. That could be anything. That sounds terrible. That's going to be the next three. It's a trilogy. <laughs> this is the first of the trilogy. The bathroom, bathroom stuff trilogy. I'm just calling it etiquette because I think so many embarrassing and awkward things that have happened to me in the bathroom would not have happened if everybody fucking followed the goddamn unwritten rules of American bathroom stall bathrooms. Uh, you would be amazed. The animals and mongrels They're, that find their way into the bathrooms and start acting like fucking idiots. Like, what are you doing? There, yeah, no, this is this is a, a famously something that it seems like there are rules for that humans all like instinctually know and agree on. But the minute it actually comes down to executing... Um, everything goes out out the window. And and, and let me tell you right out of the gate. Uh, first of all, I support gender neutral bathrooms for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons is I think bathrooms will be better. Sure. <laughs> because first of all, uh, let's just get it out of the way. The, the gaps in the stalls are are too goddamn big. I can no. fully look in and see somebody sitting there. I, I truly uh, never knew what anyone meant by that until I went to a different country and saw how they do their bathrooms, well, which is way better. Yeah, I I was in a bar 
uh, not too, not too long ago, actually years ago, and they had gender neutral bathrooms and the bathroom stalls were the ones that were like a full blown door and a full blown room. So it was still stall size. There was still like about 10 toilets, but it was like, you're in like, you had privacy. Yeah. It's like, it's like in a locker room or in like a fancy hotel lobby where, yeah, oh, nothing better then going into a bathroom, just, you know, expecting bare minimum and then finding a door that closes, like a little toilet room. Exactly. Uh, By the way, this is a little, so much this is a little inside baseball, but um, the Arclight in Hollywood that is still currently closed, but apparently it's going to ring a phone or something. Right, I right. Know. I had eaten like really buttery popcorn. I just my <laughs> stomach weird. And like in the last like... There's like one oh my god, I was watching White Boy Rick. Do you remember that movie? I oh you saw that movie. Me and Jono, our friend, went to see it just because they had a good song in the trailer. I'm not joking. We're like, well, I mean check that, it out. let me tell you, that's what got all of us to Suicide Squad. And then didn't it get us <laughs> to Suicide Squad? Um so I just like I had to throw up. Is this like the crux of the story? And I Classic. went to the bathroom and the movie was like a three star movie I'm being general I mean it just really wasn't it wasn't bad it just like it's, at a- that point I was like I don't need to see how this movie ends yeah because when I walked to the bathroom they had redone their bathrooms they looked oh. really nice and they had the stalls that were like little rooms and then the fucking thing closed I'm like oh, oh my god it's because they put all that money into and bathrooms I was like are you okay I'm like well I went to throw up and that was quick but then I stayed because the bathroom was so nice. fucking nice um there have been I'm putting you on the spot here, but that's what this podcast, uh, we're yeah, putting ourselves you know. on the spot. There have been, um, I mean, I can think of one other time, but I feel like, I spiritually, I feel like it's happened more, where you've been very excited to get some sort of movie theater snack and then had to leave in the middle of it a movie. All, I'm like a dog. I really am. <laughs> I, I'm like a dog that has knocked over the trash. I'm like, oh my God, yes! And then I'm like, I am, I am, I am. And, and then, then don't I, don't I, I, I just, I specifically remember you for weeks talking about a movie theater hot dog and then getting that hot one dog. One no. And, and then not seeing you at the end of the movie when I walked out. Black Widow. Was it a Black Widow? Well, that was one time. I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah, that I was, mean. That was at least one time. Yeah, that was at least one time. Spiritually, I feel like it's happened many times where I've heard you talk. I mean, we were recently at a movie and uh, you turned to me, you had left to get a snack and you turned uh, to me with a some sort of nerds candy and we're like, oh, yeah. do you want something to gnaw on? <laughs> yeah, that's how you described and, it when we saw Megan. Oh, yes. It's the sweet tart ropes. And I was like. These aren't like good. They're just kind of like a sugary nothing to chew on. And you said, it's just nice to gnaw. <laughs> it's just I, nice to gnaw on something. It's truly like. I, it, it is something to gnaw on. It's truly like I, what I imagine dogs get out of chewing raw hides. Or like, like even like we've got these mic cables. You know, when you're a kid and you just, just kind of like put something in your I'm mouth. A, I'm a big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just something to gnaw on. <laughs> just, just, yeah, you're teething. <laughs> so at Megan and for 80 for Brady, I, yeah. like, I need something to gnaw on. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> Something to do while you're watching. I just need something to chew right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I was so excited to have that hot dog. You were so, Widow. you were talking about that hot dog for well, fucking I got weeks. Theater, I was like, ooh, daddy oh, you know it sounds super swell right now, baby. I'm going to get a motherfucking dog. Hell yeah. I'm going to get a and big And you were old... talking, and I remember standing next to someone, and I was like, that looks disgusting. <laughs> oh, my, it's a movie theater hot dog. Like, yeah. It's not good. But and at then... the time, I was like, eating really well it was just one of those situations right where you, I was you like, broke I was, yeah yeah i was really on a roll and then just like the it's pure breaking, but like, just like fat oil grease sometimes, of this it, sometimes it hits thing. yeah i was will... like all right i'm gonna this see is, myself this is, out this is what you like you're five minutes of the on. movie i didn't watch <laughs> at yeah. all um i had to get like a water <laughs> so i had to splurge 23 dollars yeah. for a bottle of for fucking Evian. yeah uh and the after movement's like so what'd you think i'm like i'm, I'm leaving <laughs> I, yeah i i just remember you were I, like i i don't know i just good. remember I'm, you I'm bolting out, out of the theater like the movie ended and then you just like stood up and fucking left like yeah dipped. i um uh, there have been multiple movies that i've been like uh, excuse me. I I'm just go. gonna I see mean, myself out of this. Avengers Endgame. I was on the verge of some sort of horrible stomach flu. Ugh. Uh, and I, I cannot. Here's I watched that movie and I was in such distress. And I'm not like a huge Marvel person. Yeah. So I was already like, all right, I'm going to see this movie. I was talking like I'm gonna go see it. And then on the verge of a stomach flu, that three hour movie where the whole time I'm just thinking to myself, don't shit. Yeah. Um, and I didn't until the end and then revealed 
this horrible 24 hour just stomach flu that I was on the verge of just sweating through that entire movie to the point where I will never watch it again because I fear that it will trigger uh, the stomach I have flu that again. With actually Crazy Rich Asians, which would be a great movie to watch. That's an easy movie to rewatch. Yeah. Um, but I, like in the last 25 minutes of the movie, like me and my friend had met up for drinks prior. I mean, that's always like the worst. Yeah. It's like, oh, little drink. And it's like, I'm going to piss myself. I was in so, it was literally such a pain that I thought I'm going to faint. Like, I, I really think I'm going to shut down. And then it was so bad. And you know how the movie, it's like, they have like, oh, I know you don't like Coldplay, but like the use of yellow in that song is actually oh, the really The worst effect- Coldplay song. Oh, but it's really effective sure, in that movie. Sure, okay. And like John Chu's reasoning for like, using that song is actually okay. really lovely and how that movie wraps up. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's visually very beautiful. Right. Yeah. No, I've seen it. It's satisfying. Stunning. Yeah. And the whole time I'm watching this, I'm thinking, okay, so when I pee myself, <laughs> I'm with a friend that I'm really close with. So I'm just going to let her know, like I, I peed. And if you could get like an usher to just bring me towels and cleaner, like I'm not going to let anybody, uh, I'm going to wait for everyone to leave the theater. I'm right. going to clean up my mess. And I'm just going to have to walk a shame out of here with like a big old piss stain on my pants. Yeah, like, you were prepared. I literally, the whole movie, I was like just the whole thinking about how to, like, how to leave with dignity. So this is, this is just my plan now. Um, If I don't make it and, and thank God I made it. But like it was, it was a true pain, like a cramp pain. I had yeah. to piss. I, um, that's why I think this, this whole trend of uh having a bar at a movie theater, it's, you know, it sounds good. Yeah. The theory is good. Um but it really leads to uh missing parts of the movie at least. Yeah, cuz it's going to At the very the least Captain America Civil War, that was the Marvel. I actually did have to pee cuz I had margaritas. We had margaritas but I got hung over in that movie. Oh, that's that's really bad. I like the movie I, opened I, I and left, I was like and when I nope. got back there was like a huge fight. It was like the big fight at the airport that's like the big oh, yeah, piece yeah, yeah. of the movie. Yeah. And my friends were like, "Dude, you left like right as the movie was like really get-. I'm like, "I had yeah. a margarita and, like and it's, here's the uh, thing. it's a wrap there's that app run pee where it tells yes. you a good time to leave to go pee but are you gonna check that in the middle like that's never no and i always go into every movie with the impression and confidence like i'm gonna make it all the way through yeah unless not... it's a rewatch in which case like okay i can go you know right 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 i i'm a i i well, like i went during 80 for brady it's like sure uh, you know I, I think i can figure out what happened there exactly but, uh... I, actually you didn't watch the batman with me did you no? No, I think I was alone because, oh my God, the fire alarm went off in that movie. Oh, you told me. At yeah. one of the worst times for the... Uh, so yeah, that's not a good movie for an alarm to go off. It was like right off. when the Riddler had like put a bag over somebody's head and then the screen went black. Yeah. And I just thought that was like a choice in the movie. Mm-hmm. But then when the screen was black, that's when it started like... Eh. I was the first one out of that movie theater. Yeah. I was like... Not fucking around. See you later. But because it took a while for them to get the movie back up and going... It gave us like a twenty, like a fifteen minute intermission. Yeah, I went to the bathroom. I went back for snacks. And let me tell you something: the bathroom line was full. The snack line was full. The movie probably made twice as much money. If your movie is over two and a half hours, have Put an, an inter- intermission. We need to bring the intermission back. Seriously. Have an intermission. Yeah. One, the movie theater will make more money. Absolutely. Uh, and two, the experience of watching a three-hour movie will become a lot more comfortable. Definitely. Um, I'm not a person. I, I, um, you know, have a, I have a strong bladder. I'm not a. Uh, one of these weak people that have to pee every 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I'm great on a road trip. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so this isn't normally my problem. So when it is, I am in distress about it. Yeah. Uh, I do not like getting up and going to the bathroom. No, I paid in a good movie. money to see this movie. Like, yeah, I, I'm here. I paid $27 plus snacks to be here. Exactly. Um, We've lost the plot a little bit on we did, bathroom but, um, etiquette. But I mean, this is like the etiquette of when do you go to the bathroom in a movie? It's tough. And like, it's always going to be in this. You're always going to wait a little longer than is comfortable. Yeah. Um, every single time it's been a, a painful experience to go to the bathroom. Again, like, I, I visibly yeah. remember the pain. I yeah, because you're you're waiting until like, okay, to decide like, can I make it? to the end of this movie and or not. And the math you're doing so, too. Recently, so you're getting to your breaking point if yeah. you have to go to the bathroom in a movie. Recently, I've kind of like let go and let God on this because I realized like, you know, the more I sit here and think about whether or not I should go and when I should go, I'm 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 already distracted. 
from the movie. So I may sure. as well just take care of this. Yeah. And where the cards may lay. I am so also, yeah, I, I've been thinking about this a lot. Uh because I I have a high pain tolerance as a person. I have a yeah. high discomfort tolerance. So I don't know if I don't have to <laughs> pee a lot or if I'm just like comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I'm comfortable being uncomfortable. Definitely. Uh, so when I do go to the movie, it's like, this is a problem. I'm, yeah. I've been uncomfortable for at least 20 minutes here. Again, um, it becomes distracting at a certain yeah. at a certain threshold. Yeah, it's like all right, now and I'm I gotta just let go about this. And, and uh, yeah, and I, I gotta let go of that. But um, yeah, you came up with bathroom etiquette. Bathroom etiquette. Um, so I, I'm gonna I let think, you start off. Here. I, I just think you know when people talk about things that are embarrassing, a, a lot of what I hear on is is like being walked in on or walking sure. in on somebody else, which I have done both. Yeah, actually. The last time I walked in on somebody, oh my God, it was kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, in the moment, I didn't think anything of it. So, so it was this. I have a friend in Houston, Alex, my buddy. His sister used to always have like season tickets to the Texans. Okay. But we were never really in town, any of us, to actually use them. I mean, Texan season tickets are like $17 and change. Like, right. It, no. Yeah. It's not. We would always wind up going to the preseason games, what I'm trying to get at. So like sure. I've seen a lot of preseason <laughs> Texas games. Those are when they're the best. Oh, yeah. Of course. Um, I mean, shit. It's not like any fucking Texan game has any consequence. But, you know, it's like, yeah, I mean, J.J. Watt was playing. And, sure. You know, it's like, okay, these are my guys. Um, But the last game I went to, I don't even remember the circumstances for this or like what was going on i think we were playing i want to say the broncos because i remember we had gone out the night before which is the classic mistake saturday night go out yeah. and then sunday morning wake up try to get a football game yeah right so we on had the, gone out on a central time zone it's, exactly. it's not easy exactly so we had gone out i woke up feeling a little bit like i need to keep drinking it was one of those yeah i'm not hungover I just know if I don't start drinking again, soon, you're gonna need an this afternoon is really gonna be nap. A problem. Yeah, but we we're gonna tailgate and like not like serious tailgate. Just get there early, walk Have around, a drink beers. some beers, yeah. you know, talk to some people, whatever. And I remember he, like, my friend had brought some Coors Light. Is like, hey, we're playing Colorado team. We're not big Coors drinkers, but I was in such. Uh, a we wouldn't be friends. No, I was in such a state where even drinking the one Coors was like I was nursing it. Sure. Okay. But then we're walking around and people are giving us jello shots and, you know, you kind of like start collect. loosening up. Yeah. You know, if you ever do a tailgate, it's kind of like a commune, like a burning man even. Like you make trades, you talk to people. It's like, yeah. oh, I'll buy a taco off you for $5, whatever. And mm -hmm. we're getting into the thing. It's like, okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. I'm sure I spent like $115 on drinks because in the game, I started to get drunk. I, I don't necessarily remember blacking out per se, but one minute we were in the nosebleeds where the season tickets were. And the next thing I knew, we were like on the 30 yard line. <laughs> like We had just moved down because yeah. who the fuck? I, I think Peyton Manning was still playing for the Broncos too. So okay. like, yeah, so you were oh, we were just getting blown the fuck out in a preseason game. Yeah, so no, so one, was no one was there. Yeah. Um, I need to go to the bathroom. Because I've been drinking. It's like third quarter or whatever. I'm like, have you ever seen that photo <laughs> of John Lennon walking like an asshole? Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. his legs out. He's like, yeah, yeah, he's doing the like silly you know, walk thing. A yeah. total silly walk. I'm like, doop, 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 yeah. doop. Like, yeah, I'm going to take a leak. You know, uh, uh, go Texans. Yeah, whatever. Uh. I go into the bathroom, all the stall. There's like some stalls empty, some stalls not, whatever. I'm like super confident. I like kick open this door. I'm like, I'll piss right here. This woman is sitting on the toilet. <laughs> like, not just sitting on the toilet. She's doubled over. Oh, she's having a time. Her head is in her hands. Oh, no. She, <laughs> is she, she doesn't even look up to acknowledge me. She just kind of puts her arm up <laughs> and oh. shuts the door. Oh, oh. She and at the time, I'm like, whoop, sorry. All right, I'll just piss in the next one. And only like later do I realize like, that that woman was going I through it. I could not have walked in on the worst fucking stall to walk in on. And yeah. at the time, she did, she seemed a little bit older too. She kind of seemed like she had like, if she wasn't a mother, she had the mom energy of like, I don't even give a fuck. Just she might not have been going. She was just having a moment of the stall. I'm hoping she was also fucked up. And maybe that's why she was like, no Double. acknowledgement. 
I didn't even say anything. I think I said like, oh, I think I made a noise of like, oh, sorry. But oh. she just put her arm up like, like wow. she was already having a very low moment. And I just kicked her oh. down another flight of stairs. God, can you imagine anything worse than being? You've had those moments, though. I'm I'm a Jew. You are like I'm, I'm a Jewess. Of course, I've had those <laughs> moments. Uh, but uh, yeah, and it could have been me. To be, had I not drank those cores like <laughs> <laughs> to be to be in gastric distress in a public place, but but a football stadium. At least when it's a lot of stalls, you do have the blessing of anonymity. Yeah, where it's like okay, at least if I am like sharding my brain, this could be anybody. This yeah. could be anybody in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, actually, speaking of sharding in a bathroom, <laughs> I went to dinner a few weeks ago. My friend was in town for her birthday. Yeah. We went to a restaurant in L.A. that is notorious because it has like you can buy a ninety-minute open bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. For yeah, like yeah. thirty dollars, so everyone's right, there right. getting like absolutely black out drunk. Yeah. And it was like, but it's you like once it, punched me in the face in one of these places. Allegedly, I didn't. I don't remember <laughs> that. Um, so there's only two stalls. It is like an upscale restaurant. There's only two stalls, and everyone is very drunk. I mean, that's what you do when you go to this restaurant. Yeah. And I like, I'm kind of like, oh, I think the second one maybe, but I can see like there's feet under the door, and the other stall is kind of like rotating through people. There's definitely a line. The other stall is rotating people through faster. So I kind of piece it together like, oh, I think maybe this person like ate something and it's like not hitting them well or right. whatever. So I just like discreetly go to sit down. But these kind of like older, like just drunk, it was like two friends. Yeah. I could hear them talking like, is anyone even in that stall? Like, I don't know. I don't think anyone's in there. Oh my like, God. Because it was one of those, like, it was um a, a disabled stall, so it kind of went deeper. So you couldn't sure. really see feet necessarily like right away. You right. would have to like bend down and really look. But they're like out loud talking about like, I don't know. Well, I mean, whoever's been in there, if someone is in there, they've been in there for a long time. I'm oh, like, shut up. Oh, my God. I couldn't. Oh. I, I didn't have it in me to like advocate for the person next to me, even at, though I wanted to. Like, at that point, look, if you're really wondering, like bend down, crouch down and fucking look. Yes. Don't don't do that and, to and a the person. the person next to me, like, obviously couldn't sum up the courage to be like, mm, occupied. You know, like yeah. you can't. It's, oh, my God. When you're in the bathroom, here's a question. Unless I'm stepping on the, the end know. of the story. I know. Basically, they, they tried to open the door and then like, oh, someone's in there. And then when the young woman knocked out, I was already washing my hands. She had the actual like decency to say, sorry, I just something really upset my stomach. And they're like, oh, my God, no, we're sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow, she's really comfortable with herself to Good say, for her. like, sorry, I just really like I, I was shit. No, that's what. And I honestly think she kind of like wrapped it up whatever she was doing because she probably could well, hear God, everything God. yeah I, I was embarrassed for her my um my question is and good for her that that's a good she had to get out what i always struggle with is you're at uh like a a private bath it's a single stall bathroom yep. someone knocks on the door you're in there what do you say so the last few times this has happened to me i have been fortunate enough where when they went for the door or the knock, I was washing my hands. Okay. So I could say, I'll be out in just a second. Or like, just washing my hands. Yeah. Um. I never, I get so, I freeze like a deer in the fucking headlights in those moments. When someone knocks on yeah. the door, um, I I always panic. It's terrifying. I, I always panic. It's like I, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, I, yeah. Like I've been caught. Well, especially because sometimes I'm, you know, kind of done, but still <laughs> reading a tweet. Sure. Uh, but no, when I, it's truly like no, I'm vulnerable. I was having a moment to myself. Occupied. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is always. It always comes out like that, like with the voice crack. And I think I say like one minute, even if like I'm like I'll be out in a minute. Like I, I truly never know what to say in those moments. Yeah, I guess in the last thinking about it now in my later years, I am more keen to just say like, yeah, yeah, I'm almost done or, you know, I'm wrapping up or whatever. Really what it is, you just need some kind of vocal acknowledgement. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think- There's no wrong there, answer. There have been several times where um, I think more often than not, actually, I, I've just been like, yeah. Like, yeah? just, just- uh, You need help? <laughs> just like, yep. Speaking. <laughs> Here, present. Um, I don't know about you, but actually to be on the other end too, sometimes when I go for the door, just like confidently, because sometimes you don't know. They need to have a sign. There, Yeah. I have seen some bathrooms say like, this is a single person. 
I would I would like to know going in there. I would also like to know because I've I've worked in in several offices where I had no idea that there was a private bathroom and I had been working there for months. Yeah. Um doing twos <laughs> shit with the norms in in a stalled bathroom when yeah. when there was a designated which is what I imagine those single person bathrooms are. Um a designated single person bathroom. So just to give everyone a heads up, you know, you don't have to do that with other people around. Yeah, that's actually um, back like when I was in like high school and college, like the theater program. That was always like the deluxe bathroom was like yeah. getting into the um, dressing room. Oh, like if you had the key to the dressing room or whatever, like that's where you go to like really uh, lay pipe. Because like, that's like full. Like who's going to the dressing room like in the random middle of the day? True. There, we, there, we would see our professors like walking out of there. It's like, ah, oh, you just took a shit. There have been so so like I think like two times in two separate offices it's happened to me where like for months I've been going into like the bathroom that I knew that had like yeah. four stalls in it, uh, only to find one with a single stall later it's really the ada bathroom option but like i think even disabled people will agree that's where you go to shit yeah were you ever um i i've you know gotten over this in my older age but were you ever uh concerned with uh how much time you're taking no 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 the this is even i guess more embarrassing or stupid to be concerned about uh the sound of peeing of just I, peeing. I, I actually used to not be able to go unless i was alone i had a problem i was always so concerned that people were gonna hear me peeing i peed in my apartment not too long ago and i thought oh, bridget can hear me pissing god damn it <laughs> yeah uh I yeah no I re- I really even it's still, this, I've it's gotten still, over it because it's like, I've gotten look. over it but it still creeps into my head and it's so stupid but I like I remember being over like boys houses and being like trying to people would I remember there was some fucking stupid Cosmo or some sort of article I read about mm. like how to muffle the noise of peeing and like you put toilet paper down and pee yeah. in the bowl yeah and it's so dumb people pee yeah no I wanted pooping complete... is one thing no one wants to hear <laughs> yeah not like a, a fart or whatever that's like a little <laughs> bit hairy <laughs> but yeah no I did not I, I really wanted like total silence yeah and actually oh my god I try to like control I have, I have the a, stream I have a couple of stories from my childhood about this one is like not embarrassing just a little bit weird but I randomly I was in church and, and my church is old it's over a hundred year old building so there's right. like two single use bathrooms that are old and I like sneaked out to go to the restroom and when I went to the bathroom um there was a homeless lady in there yeah. who had kind of just like eh, just taken a little bit of sanctuary which is really what a church is for right um and and she was fine I just when I got into the stall I was like well I'm just gonna wait until she leaves so I can pee but like I didn't know really that like no she's kind of just she's here yeah there. she's gonna hang out Again, she yeah. is taking sanctuary right yeah um and she was trying to talk to me or whatever uh, and it just was a little bit it wasn't emba- I I wasn't embarrassed per se but I just was like please leave I have to pee so badly which is silly yeah um, but I do remember when I got back my mom was like are you okay because <laughs> I was gone for like ten minutes um but then the other one that actually was fucking weird and to this day i'm like no the other people in the bathroom were wrong i was in a bathroom in a restaurant and a mother and her like young son had gone to a stall together you know whatever and i was sitting and i was waiting for them to leave because that was my move i was gonna wait for people to leave and then i was gonna pee yeah i wanted like total anonymity and the little boys. I like, used to do that too, and then yeah. I'd be like, "I'm but in then here I for so long." I'm shitting, yeah, because I'm worse. in there for so long. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. So, um, <laughs> God well, forbid you shit no, in in a bathroom where you're supposed to do that. Yeah. Um, I was like sitting and waiting for them to leave, and the little boys like babbling, blah 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 blah, and I think the mom is like, "Oh, you know, like you're the Tinkle Prince or whatever silly." <laughs> I remember like there was walk. a fairy tale yeah. element involved because I could hear them right. You know, whatever it takes to get, like, your child to pee in the commode. Like, I'm not going right. to judge her on that. But then I was like, I, like, I just could not wait anymore. So I started to pee. And then the mom was like, oh, you hear that? Like, that's the tinkle prince or whatever. And I actually stopped peeing because I was like, oh, my God. Because she was validating my fear. The people yeah, they, 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 peeing and they had <laughs> opinions about that. That's awful. No, that's and awful. And then, like, it, it was silent. And then, like, I started again. She's like, oh. There it is. And I guess she was trying to like encourage her oh, son to pee. But Don't bring other people into like, this. Don't bring other people. I'm eight. I'm not a grown woman. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm also learning to pee in the potty. <laughs> I'm also trying. 
And looking back at that, no, I'm sorry. Don't no. bring me into your fucking teaching moment with your child. Like, no. just you two have the moment. You two are having a thing. I I should be able to piss and leave. Oh, God. I was so embarrassed. And to this day, I think that was fucking no. weird. It's weird. She shouldn't have brought you into that. Please. I'm a uh, child. She, yeah. No, that, that's not fair. Uh, oh. She doesn't know your life. She doesn't know. You know, you might. You were having a hard time in there. That's you can't you can't acknowledge other people's sounds. Play. Oh, God. I mean, really, anytime somebody like brings me into like, see, this lady is checking out. It's like, oh, no, don't, ma'am. No, I don't. Don't use me as an example. No, no, no. I, you don't know what I did I before this parenting. And, and you got to do what you got to do. I'm not anti kids in any way, shape or form. But like, no. I did not consent to being like the example of good citizenship right now no. or, or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> no, like, you I, just, you ate a movie theater hot dog. Don't, don't bring you, don't you into this. <laughs> <laughs> I am buying Budweiser's <laughs> yeah. and a frozen pizza and condoms. Like this is not the time yeah. to teach your kid about waiting in line. Um, yeah. Honestly. Yeah. There should be no acknowledgement of other people in the bathroom. I don't, I, I don't know. It's tough. Girl talk in the bathroom when you're when you're. Oh, at my old office job. I don't mean to step on what you're saying here, but at my old no. Sometimes office... I've I've had conversations in there that I loved, but uh, oh, sure, most but like most at of a the time bar or something. No, the women in my office treated the women's bathroom like a lounge, and it's like no, I am no. shitting, and it. I hate it. I don't like it. Get in and out of there. Dude, at my old office, because there was like a little sitting area, like. For breastfeeding. Sure. Like, yeah. that's really what it is. Yeah, yeah, Some people really treated that as, like, a little break room, and they would, like, have snacks there. Hmm. Would you eat something in a fucking bathroom? No. I understand bringing your drink into a bathroom. I mean, we have to do that just as an act of safety. You know what right. I mean? Like, you can't just leave I don't your drink dr- it in there, though. No. Oh, there's like a line maybe and it's like I take yeah, a little sip. But, but again, like this, I'm usually yeah. like drunk and not thinking straight. This is not like I'm having my morning coffee and talking on the phone and eating a salad yeah. on the bench where women breastfeed. I will say though, one of the, be- <laughs> one of the best um, workplace bathroom experiences I've ever had <laughs> um, was not my own workplace. Um, and again, we're really revealing... Uh, I was in Vegas. Uh, I had somehow ended up, got coaxed into going to a strip club in Vegas. It and happens. It happens to the best of us. And uh, this is one of the best workplace experience bathrooms. I was one of the only like non-worker women in there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to go to the bathroom and I, it, so I go to the stall and all the women who work there were like congregating, hanging out in the bathroom. And I heard some of the best God. I would love. I, I like, obviously will never repeat what I heard in there. Sure. Um, but uh, it was, I stayed in that bathroom for so long. Oh, I'd be like, ladies, just, I will buy you drinks. Just me in. I was just What's like going sitting on? in the stall. Like I was just eavesdropping on some of the most interesting conversations I've ever heard in wow. my life. Wouldn't and I, was I like, love, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, go to Vegas as a woman, uh, go into a strip club that no other women are at and just like listen to a conversation or two. <laughs> it's it's a blast in there. Yeah, I, I on the flip and side. And then I came and- out of that bathroom also feeling like a little troll of a person because they're all like these gorgeous women and like oh, hot, right. hot outfits. And I'm just like, it's... I'm out way past my bedtime or the time I have business being out. Exactly. I, I feel like two feet tall and like disheveled mess. And you don't have any I'm, cash on you. And I'm just like, excuse me. Sorry, I'm just gonna uh, wash my hands real just, quick. It's like fighting around. Like, Yeah, no. Uh, and on the flip side of my office back- bathroom, I do remember like, um, this was like, you know, you have your coffee and you take a shit. And then I became a real work shitter because I do. That's I, where I drink my coffee. So I mean, yeah. it's what is it? Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why that I shit, shit on company, company time. time. Like, I think my, about that every single time I go to the bathroom shit at work. Wasn't even about like, oh yeah, it's gonna take a. while. No, it didn't take a while for it to come out. It was just kind of like my free pass to just like sit and look at my phone for a little yeah. bit. But like, oh, there was like I there was so much office drama where I worked. Jesus, Christ, you'd be shot. I mean, you kind of know the background, but yeah. like, oh my God, still waters run deep over there. <laughs> Like women are like crying and consoling each other, oh and I'm God. like, I just I'm I'm shitting like right now. <laughs> Stop. Like I, I get it; it's the women's yeah. room, but like 
it's a multi stall bathroom, but, but, and you know someone's in here. But someone's got to like. This is also a a practical place. Yeah. I get, I get. There, you find some sort of safety in this in this in this hall. But uh, there are people who well, are here I, for I for also, purpose business purposes. I will also add, we were kind of office that did have break rooms. Okay, so like. There's- uh, look, I understand. I mean, a women's bathroom, that is like sacred. You know, yeah. that really is like you can say whatever you want there and it stays there. Right. Uh, boy, howdy. If it's going to turn into a 45 minute conversation, ladies, I'm going to have to ask you to like go But also else. in an office, like if it's that long of a conversation, you take a walk around the block. It's 830 in the morning. Take like, a walk. What the fuck? How much has happened to you today? Like, <laughs> please. Also, like, just get a grip. Our job is not that important. Like, this is not a career kind of job. This is just yeah. like, clock in, clock out kind of work. God damn. But let me tell you, those, those bathrooms are uh, where shit happens. Uh, oh my god. I, I mean, it was also like always. I, it was a crazy bathroom. I have so many bathroom yeah. stories. <laughs> bathroom stories. Uh, I, I'm going to cue you up for a story you told me, but, um, I think we've talked about this before, but sometimes when the flush is automatic, you know, you do the double check, like, let's make sure. Sure. Let's make sure that did flush. Yeah. Let me double check that. Yeah. The turnaround. Yeah. Whether it's one, two or three. Yeah. Which is what I call changing a tampon. Um, that's the third. (laughs) That's the third. (laughs) Just like give it a check. Let's make sure. That everything... That Dude, sometimes you go into a women's bathroom and there's like a little drop of blood on the seat and it's like, you mean to tell me you didn't fucking look at this yeah. commode before you walked out of here? Are you serious? It's it's baffling. Uh, especially if if that's the business you have to do. You Please. Check. Like, it's one thing if it's pee, you know? Like, you're in and out it of there. It shouldn't be anything. But it, it, it sh- shouldn't be anything. It shouldn't, <laughs> it shouldn't be anything. It's You know what? Is it too much? Maybe I'm just gross. Is it too much to like wad up a little bit of TP and just kind of give it a wipe? You know what I mean? No, but- Give it a wipe. But the but people are disgusting and, and, and not considerate and they're not going to do that. No. No, um, not in the bathroom. But like- I'll I'll give I'll give leeway to because sometimes you're rushing like sometimes you're like I just gotta pee we're about to leave I gotta pee. I don't know I don't think it takes but a second I to do, just do the look around and you're, just like double check you're right I and I'm a person who is like yeah do the extra thirty seconds of work to to make sure it's done right yeah um, I'm also a person who like needs to close the toilet seat before I flush I hate that bathrooms don't have this is like completely off topic, but like a no, lot of public the, bathrooms the don't have because of spray. Or whatever, and then yeah. I'm now locked in a stall where there's an automatic flusher and it's just going off when I stand up, just spraying my own urine at me. Or sometimes it goes off like at an unexpected time and it's like, yeah. oh, that's water now. That's it's, uh, this on, is turned that's into that's an unsanitary bidet. Yeah. Um I I hate being locked in a stall with the with no toilet seat cover mm. and it flush on me. Yeah. Um. It, it, I hate it. Um. But yeah, <laughs> the start. Uh, bathroom edit. And and speaking of listening to people's sounds, um, mm. which is a horrible thing to do, but it's like something you you can't avoid. But I think though, just as a quick aside, I think like at our age, if I'm here and like it's really going down, I feel bad. It, like it's not I even feel, like no, I'm not laughing. I'm like, um, oh, you know what? That's tough already but also would have to do that in public and sometimes you got i mean you, know, so, you can't there, help it like sometimes there's no choice yeah sometimes there's no choice um and it's it, it's gonna happen to all of us yeah. we're all human animals in there at the end of the day of and course. you gotta just like let people be people yeah um uh, i i went on a little vacation with a friend and uh we were going we were bouncing around europe a little bit and uh we had just come from scotland she had some family in milan at the time so we're like this is a weird jump but we got like a a free stay in milan um let let's pop over there from scotland uh so we did and um little to i think either of our knowledge or it might have been she might have known and just not told me because i would have been like please don't take me here during this time uh but we went to milan and it was milan fashion week Mm. Um, so it was speaking of being a little fucking troll amongst, uh, yes, truly, like and the, the most fashionable and tall, tall and beautiful, and beautiful thin and, people on earth. Like, yeah, oh, it, it, it was, and I had just come from Scotland where we had just like spent the week, like in my element, which is like hiking in the woods right. and like drinking warm rain, and, humidity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and drinking like warm pints of beer right. and hiking. And I was like, this is great. I fucking love Europe. And then we go to Milan for Fashion Week, and I'm like, 
back out of my element, which is also partly in my element to be out of my element. But yeah. I, I, you know, was having a real self-esteem crisis going to all these parties. And I was like, I was packed for hiking. And now I'm with these tall, gorgeous models who like, I can't even get a drink in this fucking city. <laughs> right, uh, no right. one's even like people are stepping on me. People don't even notice I'm alive. Um, it's uh, it wasn't a great experience. And I was feeling super self conscious and we're we had just like at the hotel that her family was staying at there was this fashion week party and i was like super overwhelmed great past apps no one was eating the past apps but let me tell you the little pizzas they have in milan oh (laughs) you get the little pizzas i was really enjoying the past apps uh and uh but this was a party no one was eating. Everyone was dressed super well. I had, like, just what I had in my suitcase in whatever wrinkled fashion that was. And, like, feeling bad. And we're like, all right, let's leave this party. Let's just, like, walk around the city and see if we can find a bar. We find this little tiny lobby bar and uh, walk in. And it's also, like, it's kind of dead in there. But the people who are in there are clearly, like, other over it fashion industry mm. models and designers and uh these gorgeous tall uh women and and men and i'm like great another place where i am not dressed and uh it's okay because no one is looking at me here yep. and uh not feeling great i'm in trouble ordering at the bar again and i was like i have to pee let me let me run into the bathroom and i walk into this bathroom And I mean, we were just talking about not doing this, but like the noises in there were unfucking avoidable. (laughs) It was like a two stall bathroom. So it was just like it was an intimate space. It wasn't like a packed bar. Yeah. Um, It was dead. There was not a music playing. These are twos? (laughs) Yeah, these are. You're hearing twos? These are twos. What's Italian for two? (laughs) Is it dose? Is it dose? Dose. So, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, twos, fours, sixes. Uh, uh, really, really terrible stuff going on in there. And I'm waiting, and out comes the most beautiful, tall, uh, like six, seven, gorgeous model I've ever seen. And I was like, "All right, Bridget, you got this. They shit too." <laughs> you just have to pee it's probably all they do is shit that's That's probably all they do and it it really it it became such a relief i walked around that city like it was mine after that model came out of that bathroom like i know you all are pooping i know you all are taking violent shits well they probably Uh, also like loaded up on laxatives genuinely to like get into uh, there like for that week i'm like oh that's what you're all doing that's that's the trick well i'm just going to pee yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guess who the lady in this bathroom is now? <laughs> Guess who the sophisticate is now? Exactly. Fashion Milan Fashion Week. Every bathroom in Milan is trashed. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think you know. I got into this conversation recently with this guy that was like, "Oh, men's bathrooms are so bad." No, oh, you wouldn't even know that. But I'm like, you know, men love to brag that their bathrooms are so disgusting. I'm like. That just goes to tell me that you you really have no idea perception of what is happening in a women's room. No. Um, because actually, I think... There's more going down in there's there. There's more going down. I also think, um, although I will say the fact that some men's rooms are like separated by like urinal and then like closed stall. Yeah. So it's like, there's no denying like, dude, you're taking a shit right, right. now. Right. Exa- I've talked to... I some- think that's pretty brutal. <laughs> It is pretty brutal. I've talked to so many men that they're like, yeah, I'd rather just all be toilets. I, just, why not? I d- Another reason, gender neutral, ba- like, just everyone get a toilet. Like, just I ever get a, what well, is, actually, well, I, urinal, I guess, more, like, that's why the men's line I've moves heard, faster because you I've, can just that's, pee. That's like, what I've heard, that it's yeah. just quicker. Um, I will say I was in. The trough thing is disgusting to me. Yeah, I was in, these people will never listen, but I was in a, a very wealthy home. That's all the context I'll give. And this guy was like, conservative seriously conservative and in his guest bathroom he had a urinal and a toilet i'm like oh of course you would have to have a fucking urinal that's such a in your like what an asshole like what just an asshole thing also pee in your goddamn toilet how much And, and let me tell you it wasn't like door urinal door like the urinal it was kind of like a bidet where the urinal was placed yeah. So it's like there's a place you can piss right there. Literally, how, oh, it's it's the matter of toilet seat going up and down, right? And also like sometimes you got to do both. 
Exactly. So just sit down. Yeah. I, I, and it was the only bathroom in the house that had one. And I was just like, oh my God, of course you would be like, well, let's put a urinal in here. That's, that's, uh, that's, that was just a pure flex of like, yeah, I've got a cock. That's toxic. You guys know that? I have a cock. That's toxic masculinity. Yeah, truly. Uh, um, but I will say something that I think men excel on in their bathroom is the etiquette of like, leave one open. Yeah. Because I can't, oh, especially in my work bathroom. I, I would be, taking a shit i'd be enjoying my personal twitter time yeah and and of all the fucking open stalls in the world somebody would always come sit directly next to me what is that fucking thinking you have every bathroom and i understand if the bathroom's packed T- take you what you, you get. yeah 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 or if it's one of those things where well every other one is taken so i'm gonna have to cut the middle somewhere. no in an empty bathroom it's 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 baffling pick uh, the furthest fucking toilet or why the fuck do you want to be sitting right next to me yeah well, i can see your feet i know who you are and sometimes based on the shoes like well i definitely know who's next to me right now yeah that's why I also, again, that's why we got to eliminate the the gaps. The gaps all around. Gaps got to go. The, the gaps got to go. Because you know what? In the, in the without side. a gap, if someone's right next to me, I don't know. I don't care. I'm in a complete room. Anonymity is very important in there. And I, I it's it's a sacred time. Like, look, we're all humans. This yep. is all a thing we do. This is part of life. It's very normal. It's uh, why we're talking about it. Yep. Um, hashtag relatable. Exactly. But also... That doesn't mean privacy is not appreciated. Please, because I was going to say, like, okay, a pro of the men's room is they they are really serious about that, like, skip a space, whatever. But also, I have heard, like, famous men talk about, like, getting recognized at the urinal. And it's like, hey, thanks. Can you not say this to me when my dick is out and I'm pissing? <laughs> that, that, that was always so strange to me that's Uh, i i did hear um from i don't know if like famous men do this but um my guy friends in high school was like one of their guy teachers had to go to the bathroom between passing periods and like maybe someone's using a teacher so i don't know he just had to use like one of just like the commonplace stalls and i was like ooh, was that weird and they were like i mean everyone just kind of like minds their own business like that's kind of that's their etiquette is like just like don't say shit which again we need to bring that to the women's room yeah because sometimes women talk to each other in the stalls. It's like, just everyone shut up. Yeah. Um. He, they said that the teacher, like, put his whole body against the wall. Like, there was no, like, sep- like just, like, hugged the wall yeah. entire. Which I was like, and, and they That's what said I at the time. They were did. like, yeah, I kind of understand why Mr. So-and-so just, like, I kind of respected that move. Like, yeah. Also, like, you're around, like, teenage boys. Like, right. You also are a teacher and, a, you know, it's, like it's, there's a lot of. It's so urinals have always been a strange kind of mystery to me because it, it feels so exposed. Yeah. It feels so. Ex- and the trough thing is even more of a strange. Mis- like it's it's such an exposed way to go to the bathroom. It really feels like we left men out to dry there. Like, yeah, just, you know, take and do your thing. Also, again, we've kind, Pee of, on ch- this wall. We've kind of talked about this, but like sometimes you're in the bathroom and like you do your business and like no time at all but then it's like oh but let me just take a sit and men Look, are missing that experience which yeah. i also think men like sit down it, who the fuck oh, oh uh, no i just real quick but uh, you're in such a fucking rush yeah what do you have to get back to yeah I'll take th- a sit. yeah just i just, know you could be sitting down just just relax a little bit just take a fucking load off i actually have heard a guy talk about the fact that like oh when i'm at home yeah i fucking sit yeah it's nice it's a nice little sit moment yeah when, yeah, when you're tired, sit down. Take a fucking break. I did yeah. get in a bad habit of like crossing my legs. Oh, that's what I'm sitting on. That's like how I'm sitting right now. <laughs> I don't know. I catch myself doing that. I'm like, I what need to get do? up. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm now just like. Now, now you're just chilling. Yeah. I do that after work to myself all the time. It's like, especially like if I have like a long drive home or whatever. And it's like. Oh, on set? I sit down yeah. and go. And then I'm like checking my notifications. And the next thing I know, I'm like responding to an email. And it's like 20 minutes have passed. Like my legs fall. On, on, like, I need to get up. What the fuck am I doing? On sets, especially like hectic ones, if it's like I'm getting bombarded with questions, it's definitely a place where I'm like, no one's asking me questions in here. You no, know, it's a little quiet. And everyone yeah. respects it too. It's like they're in the bathroom. All right. Just quiet. No, I just, just just quiet in there. Sometimes yeah. just, just a little, a little piece. A little, it's it's, it's a sacred place. It's a little place. moment to the self. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a sacred place and it should be respected. And, and I think, uh, you know, we shouldn't even have to spell out bathroom rules like, just have the common fucking sense to just like, 
Look, it's it's a little bit grisly what we're doing in here, okay? All of us have our pants down. Our genitals are exposed. It's a great equalizer. Our buttholes are exposed. It's I mean, a, this is like it's a sensitive place. Yes. It's a great it's a great equalizer. I mean, no matter who you are, you're gonna end up in there. And if you're in a complicated outfit, sometimes you're naked in there. Like a uh, romper and you're not wearing a bra or some situation like that. I don't like, like that. I, I don't like that. I, even sometimes depending on the romper you know when you're like in a one piece and you just kind of move it to the side here's the thing i don't <laughs> i don't like and this is part of the reason i don't like baths either i don't like being naked and sitting down mm, it just interesting. There, there's um like sitting upright it, it just i don't know it doesn't it yeah, doesn't no, i get that i get that because you it, think it's, of naked it's, as being standing and laying down completely horizontal sure but sitting is such a... You're really... Conf- it's a public pose. You're... Because yes. you're very rarely fully laying down flat in public. Yeah. So that's like a private pose. But sitting is something we well, do in public all the time that you remove clothes from it. And it's also not flattering naked. It, exactly. No matter what your body looks like, no, it's not No, a sitting down is not... Yeah. And it's, it's fine. But like you are also, when you're sitting, confronted with an image of yourself. Mm. Um, you, you can see yourself very clearly as opposed to when you're like laying down or standing up. Yeah. Uh, and you're seeing yourself... Um, Probably in the worst angles your body can be at for you're vulnerable too. Yeah, I yeah. I don't I don't like it. I think all uh, all women's wear that needs it, all all clothing that needs it needs needs a trapdoor. Yeah, they they got like the bodysuit comes with that opening at oh, the bottom. God. This is embarrassing. Um, have you ever? Because um, you, sometimes you go down to pee, you don't you don't pull your pants down to your ankles. Um, I, I went through, like, it was like a week-long phase where, like, every time I went to pee, I did not pull enough my uh, enough and was just like, great, this is... I've just pissed a little bit in my, my pants. My know? day now. This is my day now. Underwear, pants, and I'm just like, well... Um, I haven't done that in recent memory, but I have I went gotten... through, like, a week-long phase, like, three months ago. Oh, where yeah. That kept no, no, no. Happening I, I, uh, uh, I've gotten into wearing overalls. And so okay, I have to yeah. unlock the overall to like pull it okay, down yeah. and um, talk you... about the the strap of the overall that goes over the shoulder, just oh, getting a full dunk, a dunk. Oh. into the toilet. And yeah. if you're lucky, it's just like the clean water. I'm not so grossed out by like toilet water in general. It's clean water. No, no. When but it... once yeah. you put stuff in it, then it's like, then um, I got to, yeah, you know, throw it out. <laughs> and if you're in public, it like you really don't have much no option. You, you got to go about your day. Yeah. You just got to go about your day. Yeah. Uh, and just like, you'll get a, you'll get a, remind, you'll go to sit down or like move in such a way where you're like, yeah, I accidentally peed myself a little bit and not like in, in an emergency situation just uh, because my own laziness and stupidity. No. no. And I feel like sometimes just kind of in a bigger, broader spectrum, sometimes when you make a little perception mistake like that, yeah, you're bound to do it like multiple times. Yeah. It just becomes it like- just, It becomes like a full malfunction of like your cognitive abilities. Yeah. Yeah. You're it just, you miss. You just miss sometimes. You miss. And and uh, if uh, we're, we're getting to the bottom of this episode and I would be remiss if I didn't say, if you sit down to pee, sit down on the fucking commode. Because all of you squatters out there are mucking up the toilet seat for everyone else. Because you know when you walk into a bathroom, you're like, wow, there's a lot of piss on the seat. You know why? Because someone didn't sit well, down. Pe- well, people are in there. I, I think squatting is a is a bad term to, it's, t- to it's teach. It's bad for your uh, pelvis. To teach. Well, yeah. I, I, squatting is not the appropriate term to to talk about how to like put the least amount of your but on the toilet it's it's more of a lean forward that we need to be telling people how to do oh, but but some people it's like a hover but yeah some people are out here doing full wall sits on the toilet yep. just peeing everywhere and That's just not- peeing completely on the seat it's yeah. like you i saw this online someone was like you are becoming the very thing you thought you sought to destroy like oh you don't want to put your ass on the toilet seat because like oh people pee on there you are the one peeing on the toilet seat you're yeah you fucking bitch sit down i I, if you're grossed out get a fucking little courtesy paper thing and sit and 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 more over every fucking doctor and disease person on earth has said your ass sitting where other asses sit that's not where you're getting bacteria that's fine okay you have more bacteria on your goddamn cell phone 
Because you're looking at it while you're sitting down. And your face is on it. Like that is where you're going to get bacteria. But like your the back of your thighs and your butt cheeks, you're not going to get sick. Well, don't, yeah. Sitting where other people have put that same thing on there. Again, it, it's a problem with using the word squat because squat does imply uh, like a, like a wall it, sit. It's like a sit and just like a, a courtesy lean forward. It's a, it's a little, yeah, it's a little, it's the same with peeing outside. People are trying to like hover. And yeah. you're you're getting splashed back. You're peeking everywhere. Just that is hard. You got to like hold I, the material in your hands and kind of yeah. Peeing outside took I, it took me such a and I you oh know, I still make a little mistake every time. Um, I do it. It, it took me like I I've I camp enough and like am outdoors enough now that I've I've figured out the the body position. Yeah, you actually of it. have to lean it like forward. Like that's yes. the direction you want to go gotta, forward. You got to pick a good spot, and you got it's it's. Leaning forward, I we got to stop using the term squatting. Squatting is problematic. Uh, cancel uh, squat. I, I, cancel I, squat. I just, I it, just it's it's logistic. Sit, sit it, down. It's logistically problematic. Either lean forward or sit. Sitting's fine. It's fine to sit. Um, if you're if you're that freaked out about it and want to give it a lean forward, if you're in a bathroom and you're like, this again, they have the courtesy little paper dealio like. I I was always so worried about those. I never use them. I think they're so stupid. I mean, I I'm pro sit down. I sit fully. Down. Sure. I I remember just like always every time I used one, especially when I was younger. Uh, I I rarely go for them now, but uh, just being worried that the paper wouldn't break, um, and that that it would become like a trampoline. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Or, uh, or just like no, it could go wrong. If like if I I remember being very concerned, I was like, what if I have to uh, poo, and I don't pee first, and the thing doesn't break, mm. and then there's just turd. So, like I didn't. I was yeah. I, those are not. I was very worried about the paper not breaking. Yeah, I actually had a coworker that one time, like I don't know, we got to talking, and she was like, "You don't use the little paper," and I was like. I mean, I have used it when it's like, oh, this is a little bit gnarly. I, I'm going to want the extra protection. Yeah. She was like, I never go without using it. I'm like, really? People have lived entire lives and been fine. Long, healthy, happy lives. It, that, like, that's not where you're getting sick, babe. No. No. You use your phone on the toilet. That's grosser. That's worse. And we all do it. Absolutely. And we all do it. And that's really what's the most disgusting thing. Yeah. That we all do as humans. You ever um, take a call? No. Yeah, I, I when I I'm talking to my mom on the phone, sometimes I'll say like, "I'm gonna mute you because like I really have to go." I just, yeah, I don't want to be talking during that time. I'm more, li I'm more listening. Sure. During those moments, it's like, okay, this is I don't want to interrupt you or like interrupt the flow, so I'm gonna mute you, and but only in the privacy of my own home, never, because I no. know that's something men do, like just like get on the fucking shitter and just like call people. I yeah, <laughs> I know multiple guys that thought people were talking to them, and then it was like a phone call. Ew. Yeah, I no, I don't want to be talking to people. I don't want to have a conversation. I don't want to be on the other end. Like I get listening, I'm okay with if someone if it's like a parent monologuing at you. Sure, as as they are want to do, but yeah, I that's me. That's for that times for me. Um, I I do feel bad about the times that I remember as a little kid, just uh like having a question for a parent my mom and she'd be just like i'm in the bathroom and i was like okay i'll come in yeah, and ask I you the do, question i, I think look, i used to just like hey what's going on and my mom's like i'm trying to have the only moment of privacy i know i, I have in my I entire think about that. fucking day i think about that yeah. a lot now is that my mom would be like i'm on the toilet and i'd be like oh great i'll talk to you in there like oh you're sitting down okay good i had an idea <laughs> yeah. yeah like um can you or yeah go? Leave your away. yeah. Leave people alone on the. If toilet. any eight year olds are listening to this, yeah, um, yeah, that's um, that's bathroom etiquette. It's it's it's. I mean, it's always so dicey being in a public bathroom. Just everybody, be polite, be courteous, treat others the way you want to be treated. And but, if you are like a very like unashamed like let it fly person, just know that's not going to be everybody. That's not going to be good for you. But you know, give people their space. Treat it like. A plane or a library or any other, I call them like designated quiet zones. Yeah. Like there are some places on earth where like really you should respect the sanctuary of what yeah. this place provides. Now, obviously, if it's like a bar or a concert, you know, that changes things. But by and large, just bathrooms are a place for there. people to do yeah, what they got to do. Get, and, get it done and, and sometimes and, go. and sometimes just collect themselves. Exactly. Um. And sometimes 
it it's tough in there for people and you got to give them the space some people might be in there crying some people are you know having having a rough or time. having a really really bad time, time. with the texans game <laughs> i'm yeah. so sorry to that lady god i'll never forget <laughs> I wish I could forget. I for her sake, I wish I didn't remember what she looked like, but it was just the, it was just the, like head the, in hand. Well, I mean it's doubled ca- over, didn't even look up to see who had well, walked in because, and just like the single hand like well, it's because you, defensive move of like just go. Don't away. don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, God. It, it's tough because we had all been there. Um but uh, yeah, we're I guess we're I don't know. Uh this has really been an episode of rough stuff. It is it is rough. It is stuff. And it is, yeah. Um, if you if you've made it this far, uh, thank you. Yeah, hope you're enjoying the new format. We're uh, giving it a spin. It's you know, it's flexible. Whatever, like, yeah, it's uh, our show. Like, we're just gonna do whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, but we would appreciate you know if you're listening to this on Patreon. Um, thank you. Yes, thanks you guys for our patrons. are the best. If you are listening to this on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you get your podcasts um, and don't currently subscribe to our Patreon, we encourage you to pop over there and check it out. I think um, the lowest tier is like three bucks a month and you get a ton of stuff unlocked, including these episodes early. Yeah. Um, and Ax- yeah, thanks to, thanks to all of our listeners. I, d- I w- do want to say we got a really big response from our last episode. I know. It was really so heartwarming. Some people were thrilled we were back. So um, that's very encouraging. Thank you for that because, like, God knows. And if- so we came back and we talked about you. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if, uh- if no one was listening, then, like, you know, that that makes this hard. <laughs> so it is, it is nice. Unlike in a bathroom, it is nice to know people are listening out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you are, you guys, uh, you're, you're great. And we appreciate you. And uh, you can, find me on twitter at bridget tweets there's also a, a twitter for this program specifically called at rough stuff pod which we might we've been talking about workshopping like a new name so that could be the catch-off for all the bns division yes podcast so that could be where we can host like casting curious and shooting threes just um you know if you're looking for our voices but that that's a work in progress but for now good place to find things um you can also find me at sk underscore griffith and again if you're a patron this stuff comes straight to your inbox so you'll never you'll never miss it you'll you'll never miss us talking about all these wonderful pockets bullshit (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah we appreciate you guys uh you know if you if you can rate and review um check out the patreon at uh the small beans patreon and uh we'll, we'll see you guys next time